Okay, thank you everyone for coming today. Um, so, uh, I did actually prepare something. Um, frankly, it's sort of wild to be standing here today. I don't think of myself as someone who has accomplished a lot, but this is an accomplishment. Uh, people told me the statistics about how few small businesses survived, and I just didn't listen to them. It's not that I thought I knew better, I just knew that I got more money be being paid directly by customers, and that the alternative was having a boss. Since then, uh, my business has repaired tens of thousands of computers, uh, advocated against planned obsolescence with a relatively large uh, win by getting Chromebook software updates extended to 10 years. Um, and we have gotten back files and machines to so, so, so many different people who depend on them. Uh, Hamilton Computer Repairs has carried me through my 20s, uh, but effective June 1st, I am stepping down. Uh, I'm no longer passionate about computer repair, but also because I'm not the right person to be choosing the direction uh, of growth for it. I'm not the right person to determine new policies, prices, um, or which devices or brands we service. The market has changed, and the biggest reasons people weren't using our shop was the existence of $250 laptops at Walmarts uh, and having to wait a week for parts, things mostly out of our control. The migration to cloud software has reduced people's attachment to their current devices and willingness to just replace. And also, most people have less cash. We need to move towards customer service, and to put it mildly, that has never been my strong suit. Well, it's longer than I thought, sorry about that. Um, Separately, as many of you have seen, I've gotten louder in local politics and engaging the city has taken a lot of my time, energy, and attention. I have been overwhelmed and not as present at the shop as I should be, and it was negatively impacting my employees and customers. Faced with this reality, I had a few options. I could let the business die, our two-year lease was up at last week, and I am no longer spite-fueled by my old landlord. But that would be horrible for my customers and employees and leave me with nothing to show for the past 12 years. I could sell to some capitalists who would maximize profit and minimize costs. The first thing they would do is fire V, the soul of my company, or ghost in our machine, if you will, and probably try to get customers on some kind of maintenance plan to generate that sweet, sweet, reoccurring monthly revenue that IT companies are built around. They changed the business entirely, and it would be against everything I have worked for. So instead, I turned to someone who used to work for me and already brings all the right ideologies and mindsets to the table. As some of you may remember, I repaired computers out of a pawn shop right before opening this place, so I always loved that she came from a flea market background. Uh, my shop was at its best when Octavia was behind the counter, and frankly went downhill since we lost her. Octavia's integrity, passion, and empathy are unparalleled, and will set the shop off right in a way I don't have to worry about. I also want to note, we are still franchising. Uh, those details have been predetermined, and Octavia is already working directly with Birdo. He couldn't make it today because his, first, his baby's first birthday takes priori priority over my baby's 12th, which does make sense. Uh, what now for me is something a lot of people have been asking me. Um, first and foremost, I'm opening, with Octavia as well, a nonprofit co-working and organizing space next door. There's a shortage of queer spaces in the city. <clears throat> Most of them are both expensive and centered around drinking, so we're creating a computer room, podcast studio, meeting table, and coffee station that will be open 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. For income, I've opened a solo consulting practice. I'm here to discuss what could possibly go wrong and how to mitigate it. Since the start, I'm gonna be offering an hour and a half sessions via video call. It's not cheap, but I will have a hefty friends discount and prices will be reduced for the first half year. I'm still deciding what my niche will be. I love the phrase socio-technological consulting, that I make people and computers work better together, but I don't wanna be limited to that and I'm also toying with the concept of chaos consultant. I'm excited to not be a boss anymore. I'm excited for this co-working space next door, and I am so, so excited for the future of this business under Octavia. Thank you for coming today. Thank you to everyone for all of your support, and thank you to V. This business would not be live without you. I think he's uh, probably at Amity Boston or something else today, but sorry, uh, Boston Pride, not Amity Boston. Uh, and, uh, and Octavia. Yay. Tell people what's gonna be different. Introduce yourself. What are you excited for? Hey, I'm Octavia. As you know, I'm taking over the business, and honestly, the best way I can put it is I want to keep running the shop how I did back when I was here. Not profit, not anything like that. At the end of the day, all I care about is actually helping people. We're going to make prices lower, we're going to change how we do a lot of things, because not everyone can afford things, not everyone can do things as, you know, what's on paper proper. We're going to just do our best to make everything good. Um, that being said, that's something I want to carry over to all branches, all shops. That's not going to be just the Worcester one or anything. Honesty and 
care is what I want everything to run off of. And if it can't, it shouldn't be from us. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing how things go. Also, 3D breakers. Hmm. That's a good point. Additionally, we're going to be offering a lot of new services, uh, 3D printers especially being a big one. had a long history of them. I've been teaching people how to work with them, and they're going to just keep getting bigger and bigger, and they're really fun. Beyond that, that's probably it for now. I look forward to seeing how things go. Mm. Yeah. Mm.